So now let's study this project, how it was made and the process. So for that we will first study the block diagram of the project, then we will study the components used in it. After that we will move on to the circuit diagram explanation and then to the uh, testing and working of the project. So now to access the block diagram, you just need to access uh, the website neonprojects.com. Once you access the website, just scroll down to any search bar and type in the project name. So once you search it, you will find the project there on the site. So this is the one IoT traffic signal and controller system. As you can see, this is the project image. You can see the IR sensors or IR pairs here and here. So these are used to indicate the traffic density on both these roads. And you can see a signal in front of both these roads as well as two other signals to simulate a four way road. But currently we are managing traffic on only two of the ways and rest are for demonstration. So depending on the traffic density, it switches the signal and keeps the signal on for you know that much amount of time. And also it has an IoT override which allows you to or the traffic controllers to switch on any signal they want for a particular amount of time over the IoT through the internet. Like suppose there is some important person or the police or fire brigade or whoever is going or ambulance. They can just call the IoT department and IoT traffic controller department and they can have the particular signal switched as well as the IoT uh, controller allows them to monitor the entire signaling process over the internet. So now let's go down to the block diagram. As you can see each uh, road has this low medium and high density. This is checked using the sensors IR pair sensors and based on that the uh, signals are switched and these pairs are connected to the microcontroller. The controller gets signal from the sensors and based on that it decides the density at each road and depending upon that it switches the signals as well as it uses the IoT control to display the status of signals and traffic and also people who are operating this or authorities who are operating this can send a signal to the controller to switch any particular signal that they want on or off at any given time. So these are the components here. This is the uh, main controller that we have used here, which is an Atmega 328 controller. So this is the controller as you can see here and along with pin description and diagram, all details you can find here about the controller. After that, this is the Wi-Fi module, which is used to connect to the Wi-Fi to the internet through the Wi-Fi. Also, it's uh, interfacing and all details can be found here. After that we have the IR pair, 6 of these pairs are used but you can use more if you want to simulate more roads and customize the system. After that we have the you know other uh, components which includes the PCB transformer adapter, I will show you the PCB here. So you can just uh, get a 6 into 6 PCB for this system, that would be enough. And if you want to you know, create more roads, you can use a 6 into 12 
or 12 into 12 depending on your requirement and depending on how you place it if you place these sensors far away from each other and you create four roads even here and here so it will be a quite a large pcb so depending on the require your requirement you can you know select the pcb the size from here so the remaining components that here that are here are the push buttons transform adapter led the uh, these leds that you can see here all color leds uh, yes, you can find here on so this is the red yellow green so all leds can be uh, you know found here and after that what you will uh, need to do is you'll need to calculate the resistor and capacitor values in order to make the circuit so after that you can proceed to circuit design and the layout and if you want all these components together along with values and if you don't have a value calculation and pcb printing idea you can also just go here and click on the uh, order now button and after that you can select the self builder kit and you can order all these components with calculated values along with the printed pcb and it would be delivered to your doorstep and then you can just solder it yourself and develop the project and also learn about it the circuit diagram and everything so now let's uh, move on to the next phase which is circuit design so now let's study the circuit diagram development of this project so ab jo hai hum is project ke circuit diagram development pe focus karenge so to start with the circuit diagram we will uh, first select a microcontroller sabse pehle hum microcontroller select karenge so this is a atmega based project so we will select the atmega microcontroller first so we are using proteus for circuit designing there are a wide variety of tools in the market including keycad eagle so if you use any tool the gui is different but the processor will be the same मार्केट में जो है काफ़ी सारे टूल्स अवेलेबल है सर्किट बनाने के लिए उनका जी यू अलग अलग है मतलब स्क्रीन अलग होगा लेकिन प्रोसीजर सेम है तो ये जो है हमने माइक्रो कंट्रोल सेलेक्ट किया एट मेगा थ्री टू एट सो नाउ वी विल एड सम रेजिस्टर्स एंड ट्रांजिस्टर्स इन द सर्किट तो इस तरह से जो है आपको की में नाम डालना होता है तो ये जो है हमने एक रजिस्टर ऐड किया अभी हम इसको लिंक करेंगे कंट्रोल के साथ जैसे आपको कोई भी पिन लिंक करनी हो सो दिस हाउ वी नो वी लिंक अ कंपोनेंट टू अनदर कंपोनेंट So now let's add a power supply to the controller.
सो नाउ वी हैव एडिड द कंपोनेंट्स नाउ वी विल स्टार्ट लिंकिंग देम तो अब जो है हमने कंपोनेंट्स ऐड कर दिए अब हम उन्हें लिंक करेंगे So as you can see, we just uh, created a power supply for the एट मेगा कंट्रोलर तो अभी हमने जैसे एक पावर सप्लाई पूरा क्रिएट किया इस कंट्रोलर के लिए इसी तरह से हम सेंसर्स और बाकी कंपोनेंट्स है वो भी लिंक कर सकते इन द सेम वे वी कैन लिंक सेंसर्स एज वेल एज अदर कंपोनेंट्स लाइक बजर एल सी डी एंड नो अदर सेंसर्स टू द कंट्रोलर so now let's delete this extra uh, diode that we the resistor that we used here so once this is done now we can uh, create a uh, layout for this uh, pcb ab hum is pcb ke liye layout banayenge jis layout ke zariye hum uh, pcb ko print kar sakte hain so now let's uh, go to this tab here pcb layout so before this we have to solve some errors it shows us uh, the errors here ye jo hai hame errors batata hai ye hame solve karne honge to hum error ko jo hai solve karte hain aur fir pc bhi banate hain So now in the layout section we have to take those components into layout now. Let's create the PCB layout here. So abhi jo hai hum components ko PCB layout mein lenge aur layout banayenge yahan pe. ये जो है उन कंपोनेंट के पिन्स है तो उसके हिसाब से जो है लेआउट बनता है सो द कंपोनेंट पिन्स आर अवेलेबल हियर एंड ट्रैक्स बिटवीन देम सो दिस इज हाउ पीसीबी लेआउट इज बिल्ड सो नाउ द कंपोनेंट वंस द कंपोनेंट्स आर अरेंज हियर एक बार हम कंपोनेंट्स को अरेंज कर लेते हैं उसके बाद हम ट्रैक uh, बनाएंगे उसके
हाउ द ट्रैक्स आर क्रिएटेड इस तरह से हम ट्रैक्स बनाते हैं पी के और इसको हम एक्सपोर्ट करके हम जो है पी को प्रिंट कर सकते हैं सो नाउ दिस प्रोजेक्ट हैज बीन प्रोग्राम इन सी लैंग्वेज एंड इट यूज आर्डिनो कंपाइलर एज वी सो ऑन द वेबसाइट सो लेट स्टार्ट दी आर्डिनो कंपाइलर यर तो ये प्रोजेक्ट जो है ये आर्डिनो कंपाइलर में कोड हुआ है तो इसके लिए हम आर्डिनो कंपाइलर शुरू करेंगे तो कंपाइलर में इसका जो कोड है वो हम पहले कंपाइल करते हैं कंपाइलेशन से हमें पता चलता है कि कोड एरर फ्री है तो इस तरह से जो है डन कंपाइलिंग यहाँ पे लिखा हुआ आता है सो दिस हाउ द कोड इज कंपाइल्ड एंड आफ्टर दैट व्हेन यू अटैच आर्डिनो टू दिस देन वी कैन बर्न दिस कोड इन टू विच योर आर्डिनो इज अटैच योर एंड दर्डिनो कंट्रोलर एट मेगा कैन बी प्रोग्राम दिस वे सो दिस हाउ इट इज प्रोग्राम डियर from uh, arduino compiler hi guys and welcome to the demonstration of iot traffic signal monitoring and controller system this is an advanced system which can be used for monitoring and controlling the status of traffic signals the system can be operated remotely over iot with manual override ability with the increasing density of crowds in cities it becomes practically impossible for traffic officers to be able to regulate traffic such situations can easily become disastrous if a few hooligans decide to disobey traffic laws so in order to cater to this issue we have put forward a brilliant concept our system can be easily used to monitor a signal junction the system monitors the traffic density at each signal and accordingly controls the on time period for each signal The system also updates the status over IoT. A remote authority can then check this status and declare an emergency in the respective lane. The system is powered using an Atmega 328 microcontroller. It includes five IR sensor pairs, a Wi-Fi module, and LEDs for signaling. As you can see, since both the lanes are empty, therefore the roads are also displayed empty. and all signal change state after a short period now let's simulate traffic in the right lane Now let's simulate a complete blockage in the top lane. So as you may have noticed the signal on time periods for the right and top lanes has increased. Now let's change the density at both the lanes. the changes have reflected over iot and also the signal on time for both the lanes has changed as well now let's simulate an emergency in response to the emergency generated the signal for the respective lane has been turned on irrespective of the status of any other lane so in this way our system aids in regulating the traffic and thereby helps in avoiding unfortunate accidents thank you so now let's simulate an emergency
in response to the emergency generated the signal for the respective lane has been turned on irrespective of the status of any other lane so now we can use this emergency to empty the traffic on that particular lane we can use this emergency to empty the traffic on that particular lane for example an ambulance or political authorities or some congested traffic so in this way our system aids in regulating the traffic and thereby helps in avoiding unfortunate accidents thank you